Tracy from Get Basket Appeal, and I'm just doing some crafting. Um, I've got these soap boxes, and I got a lot of these soaps, and this is like one of my uh, favorite soaps, and my husband loves it too. So the soap comes in this soap box, so that means I've got to find something to do with these because I've got a ton of them. So it's a small box, so we're going to be doing some crafting. I've got some yellow paint, some green, those are the colors that I'm feeling right now and hopefully I'll be able to pull something together. So let's get started. I'm going to be using this um, pale daffodil, it's a soft, soft yellow. And so I figured I'd be using this to paint the box with. So I wanted to kind of change up my colors a little bit and just go with however I'm feeling right now. So I'm going to paint this and um, see how much coverage it gets, see how good it goes on. And I may end up having to do maybe one or two coats. It looks like I'm going to have to do two, at least two coats. And I already like the way this looks. Looks nice and spring-like, summer-like. Yellow is always a happy color, so figured I'd use this. I'm going to be making some kind of flower box here. And my husband, he was going to throw this out once again, and I told him, please. I, I can do something with it. I'm going to make it work. So <laughs> even if I have to make these and give them away to friends and family, it's all good. So the house is quiet. No one's here. The TV is not going, which is great for me right now because I'd rather turn on the camera and craft with all of you. I'm going to go ahead and paint the bottom of this just because. And just looking at it right now, it's going to need another coat. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then we'll, we'll see what it looks like and move on from there. Okay, after two coats, it's all dry. And I did spray it with a light coat of the acrylic sealer gloss finish so it works good on a box if you're ever wondering about that and so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of this burlap ribbon that's just kind of a leftover piece of ribbon so this is a good way to decorate something that you um with some ribbon pieces that are left over. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just kind of end up cutting some of that off. Put this on the side there. Okay, I'm just going to cut a little piece of that off. Oops, I'm making all this noise here. I'm just going to give this a little bit of glue. And this just breaks up a little bit of the color, adding some type of ribbon across the middle here. So I am going to have fun decorating all these boxes. And sometimes you just have to do something small. Every every craft doesn't have to be a big one. And kind of mix it up a bit. I'm just putting a little bit of the glue on there. And I, I like that because it has a nice little border around it.
And this is the perfect ribbon because it's that wired ribbon. Go ahead and seal the rest of that up. Doesn't want to stay down. Let's see. Put it directly on the box. Okay, much better. Okay, I'm really liking that. Okay, so let me see what we uh, else we can put on here. Um, I did find some buttons that I thought were really cute. Look at that. That just adds a little bit to it. Let's see what it looks like. Three buttons, let's say. Yep, looks perfect to me. Yep, so I'll put three buttons on the front and three on the back. I'll put a little bit of hot glue there. Okay. Pop these on real quick. That looks so super cute. The burlap with some buttons on it. Sometimes you just got to pull whatever from your stash and make it happen. Let me see. I've got some, got some pearls here. Let's see what this looks like. Add a pearl on that one. Mm. Nope, I don't think I'll do the pearl on that. I think I'll just leave it as it is. And do this side. And I'm just grabbing things from wherever and adding them on. Okay, look how cute that is. It's so so cute. So grab all those little buttons that you have. And so this needs to be weighed down. It's too light. So I've had some rocks that I had from uh, Dollar Tree. They came in a bag. So I'm just going to add some of these in just to weigh it down a little bit. So it doesn't fall over when we put our other stuff on there. Okay, and let's see. This is the foam. Let's see if this will fit in there if I have to cut it down. Nope, I don't have to cut it down. It fits perfectly. Okay, so now that I've got the yellow and green on there and put the floral foam in there, it's time to put some flowers in here. So I thought I'd mix it up with maybe a white, yellow, and green. So I do have happen to have some of those in my stash. You just can't go wrong with leftover flowers. So I'm going to be adding those in. And this is just so adorable. So adorable. Let's start with the green first and add that in. And I think three is enough on this. Three of the green, that is. See what else we can add in here. Look at that. I got some yellow flowers. Let's put a couple of the yellow ones in there. And notice that all the flowers are like super small, so it's just so adorable. And when I think of like boxes like these, small, small boxes, I it kind of makes me um Think of maybe a co-worker who's going through something or even maybe something to welcome someone that just that just um, is new to the office just to kind of add a little sunshine. Maybe something like this with a card. It's such something that's so simple 
uh, to make. Okay, so let's spread those out just a little bit so we mix in that green. We'll do one more of this. Nice. And I may end up arranging this just a little bit different. We got a little bit of that green coming out there and these closer. Now let's add a little bit of white. And don't be afraid to play with your arrangement. You know, just kind of, if you don't like it, you just go ahead and switch it around. And just that spark of white. Oh, there goes my my dog. He's sitting under the table here. Just a little bit of the of the little baby breaths in there. I need something to fill up this little hole right here. Got here. I can always go back to that other side. And look at this nice little added touch. Got a few more of these left, so take that last one off of here of the yellow, just that last one. It's my green coming out of the top there. And if I want to switch it around a little bit, I can. See, just these little details. And I'm going to add just a little bit of glue to this and just stick it right in there. Have a nice little mixture. And I am really liking this. I'll probably have to play with it just a little bit more. But I really like this arrangement. I don't know if you can see that. And I might may end up going in a little bit closer with the flowers to arrange it around there. But I really love this. And just super easy to make. And you can put this on your desk, on a windowsill, of course, someplace dry since it is a box. So I hope this inspired you. Uh, thank you for watching and coming on this kind of mindless crafting journey with me. Thanks for joining me and please comment below. Bye.